All right. So now the audio and the videos are all synced. Does, does that and mean? you know what that means. Are we recording yet? Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> all right. All and right. welcome back to Heapcast episode 25, I believe. 25. Does that mean season three as well? Considering the extended hiatus we had. Season two point something. <laughs> two point something. I'm, I'd, I'd allow it B3. You reckon well, three? three starting at 25. <laughs> We, it's, we're yeah. talking half cinch, quarter yeah. cinch, quarter, quarter cinch. cinch. That's a big milestone. It's a massive milestone. And our seasons are getting progressively longer. This this season might be twenty five episodes long. Yeah, we Very might hit the half yeah. cinch on this one. Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> hey boy summer this summer. Yeah. Okay, and now <laughs> first hey of all, boy summer. first of all, you've probably seen on the waves, on the airwaves, and whatnot today. It's a, it's a big day for us. It's a huge. Massive. It's a massive day. It is the first day. With a couple of these puppies about. Complimentary of our good friend Cam Utiger behind the yeah, camera there. Of cooked fame. Thank you. Of cooked, cooked fame. So yeah. Heapcast is brought out. to you by Cooked. Yeah. So let's Film go. Cooked. Yes. He's let's hooked go. us up with some sick merch. So it should be coming towards <laughs> the end of the year. Is that still standing, Cam? Towards the end of the year. Early, Early next, next year. Early next year. Can't wait. So get around him. The Film Cooked on Instagram. He's helping us out Get big time. Get some merch. Like, check yeah. this merch out. Are you kidding? It's comfy. It's, like it's got cool feathers. stuff on the back too. It's yes. got really cool stuff on the back. It's extremely yeah, comfortable. For a sec. It's a great fit. Yeah, swivel around. Oh, see that? Ah, you see, see that? that? Ah. <laughs> Get a load. You didn't see it. Anyway. Do we need to say any more than that? I don't, I don't think, think so. Do. Um, now, straight off the bat, I had something I wanted to talk about. It's just a quick thing. I thought I'd, I'd never heard this in my life, but I saw this. My favorite reliable source that we've touched on multiple times, TikTok. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you know the seam on your scrotum down the middle? Mm-hmm. That was from where your vagina in the womb s- sewed itself together. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> when you became a boy. Dude. What do you mean sewed itself together? It's so you, everyone starts off as a girl in the womb and then you turn into a boy. Unreal. If, you, if you're deemed tough enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you make the cut. Yeah, they ask you your favourite colour and if it's blue, well, they well, decide yeah. to sew it up. A special doctor in the room waiting with like a needle and thread. Yeah. Let me get That's in there. That's exactly what he does. He, get, he jumps in there and he sews it together and he May st- I? stuffs some, <laughs> some of those styrofoam balls you use as Pluto in your school projects. As what? <laughs> oh, Pluto. <laughs> no, I've been not. wondering what was in there. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. Space rocks. <laughs> yeah. that explains why I'm firing blanks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and so from that, it got me thinking, would you rather have like especially wrinkly balls or completely, completely smooth? S- especially wrinkly? <laughs> is it, is yeah. it like your brain where more wrinkles means you're smarter? No, it, may, it has nothing to do with your sperm count. You're just, you have, no, like your IQ. <laughs> that, it has nothing to do with that either. <laughs> you just like have super balls, wrinkly. <laughs> smooth brain, smooth balls. So, so picture your balls now, or you can picture mine. It's up to you. <laughs> I think we yeah. should all picture each other. It's just, yeah. like, well, who's, just to remove bias. Well, picture the picture the person on the right of you. <laughs> right, now it. imagine it three times as wrinkly. Would you rather that or your balls or their balls <laughs> to be I completely wrink- baby wrink- butt smooth? Wrinkly, wrinkly's throwing me off. Like, uh, I'm going smooth. <laughs> I'm smooth. Funny. I reckon the smooth's creeping me out. It's like, like, like a bowling ball. <laughs> Yeah, like a yeah, like a. It's like that uncanny valley thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just smooth balls. They kind of look like balls, but they're kind of throwing you off. Yeah, it's like a mannequin. <laughs> right, I'll hit the intro. I'm gonna look at my uncanny valley, baby. Hey, Welcome to Heapcast. Oh, On from that, what would you do if you had an uncanny baby? <laughs> <laughs> an uncanny valley baby. Yeah, like it's born and it's just one of those uncanny things. <laughs> oh. oh, dude. Oh, would you rather have smooth balls or an uncanny baby? <laughs> oh. can, can I put this one back? <laughs> can, can I yeah. trade this? <laughs> this thing isn't done. <laughs> When it comes out with like with like the eyes too far apart and the teeth like with like a centimeter. Oh, ugh. We'll, we'll tell you what, we'll put the photo that we looked at. <laughs> that TikTok, I just saw it just then scrolling to the thing. Oh, my yeah. baby's uncanny, 
put that thing back. It's possessed. I'm, <laughs> I'm done with it. I don't, I don't, need, I don't need no demons in my house. No, I have enough. I don't get enough done as it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you like walk into your parents' room, and like tell them you like threw up. Imagine just an uncanny kid doing that. Oh, just, <gasps> he doesn't knock. He's just standing at the end of the bed <laughs> I'm with his two fire him. apart eyes and his super smooth face. Oh. I can't think of anything worse. Honey, there's something in the doorway. <laughs> 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 Can you check under the bed? <laughs> um, so straight off the bat, um, we wanted to do. Obviously, we've had a massive break. Huge, probably so to be back. One of our biggest. Yeah, definitely. This might be a record. <laughs> well, I, I reckon we we nearly hit the. Especially since we didn't even announce we were stopping for a little bit. It <laughs> yeah. was just kind yeah. of cold stop. But yeah, it but keep you on your toes. I, I reckon it was nearly five months. This is probably five. our biggest break yet. No. Yes. Well, well, here's the thing. It doesn't feel like five, but um, I was looking at um, Time flies obviously when the Silk Sonic down. videos. And you know when Leave the Door Open came out? Yeah, March. March, dude. That feels like <laughs> two months ago, but there was actually like nearly eight or nine months ago. Yeah, this year has absolutely flown, flown. by. Just the sheer doing nothing Yeah, adds up. It does, hey. <laughs> but in out. saying that, when there's nothing, you often find heaps there as well. Yeah, there is heaps. Oh, you do. <laughs> And so we, th- we thought we'd give you a quick Hebe update. No, nothing hands are the Hebecast's plaything. <laughs> yeah, nothing. And so we thought we'd give you a quick update on just what happened in our lives during lockdown. True. It was a bit of a spooky time. Yeah. Um, bit uncanny. <laughs> for the most part, I did absolutely zero things. I just went to work and I went home and it was really, really bad. <laughs> but something funny did happen. It was also really, really bad. <laughs> and so... <laughs> It was so bad. Yeah, good. It actually might be one of the more embarrassing this is things. such a feel-good <laughs> episode. Yeah, it's oh, I, not for me. It, this um, it was probably one of the more embarrassing things to ever happen in my life. It, oh. So, I, I've been like a little, like not crook, but just like drained for the past like eight months, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> like just for, for the best part of this year, I've low-key can't get out of bed <laughs> and not and not even just because of the normal demons like my body hurts like my, just through those regular old demons yeah I, like i'm used to the regular demons <laughs> like my body hurt this time so i was like fucking right hell. maybe i should get to the doctor and so they're like oh yeah oh we can't say we can't find anything wrong with you but maybe we'll send you to get your blood done um and we'll, we'll just see what happens see what comes back and i was like all right cool so I book it all in, all sweet. Mum booked it in. <laughs> it was all sweet. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool. I'm going. It's my day off work. I'm like, fuck, this is going to be a great day. Day off work? Are you fucking kidding me let's right go, now? Let's go. This is a huge deal. Look at the sun's out. <laughs> I'm going to make the most of this. And so I'm, I'm going. 8 a.m. My mum tells me the night before, oh, make sure you fast. <laughs> make sure you fast before you get it, like three pints of blood taken out of your body. I was like, all right. <laughs> That's the rules. Stand by them. We'll fucking pack your bags. So I stood by them and I fasted from like like 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. Whole 12 was, hours. Whole 12 hours. Solid fast. The whole skidoo. My, I was fasting. Um, so, yeah, I fasted and I've, I've driven to the, the lavity. Um, I, I walk in. I'm like, hey, guys, I just got to get some blood taken out of my body. How do I go about that? And they're like, all right, come on in surprisingly weird process like i gave them like a sheet and it it the whole process was hey what's your name jake have you got a sheet yep here it is all a right sheet. go in there like Give an my sheet. sheet yeah a couple of doodles on it yeah just doodles <laughs> all over the place and so then i've gone in i sit down and just they're just wasting absolutely no time and they're like all right sleeve up and they just fucking j- jab it in my arm Boom. and just <laughs> sucking just sucking the blood out of me just Pouring out. Count, Starts pouring out. Dracula. I won't look. No You're way will I look. not leaving until we have a pound of flesh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. No way will I look. And so I'm not looking. Um, I've never had blood taken before. It felt weird. Mm. And so I'm like... Can you okay. see the blood? I, I wasn't looking at it, but, oh, right. but every time they finish a vial, they like put the vial up on the little stand, oh. which happened to be in front of me, so I can sort of see it. Darker than you expect. How many vials? I thought it was in bags. Three. I they took it out in bags. No, nah, I think that's if you're donating blood. Were you not? No, I was just getting my blood you were tested. You getting it back at the end of the process. <laughs> yeah, afterwards they, they made me drink it. <laughs> they put it in a Bloody Mary and they just said, bottoms up, pal. Yeah, you got to get it back in. <laughs> Have a good somehow. day, brother. 
Um, <laughs> but no, so they're taking it out and they're slamming the little vials on the table. I'm just sort of looking. I'm like, oh, it's like fucking brownie red. It's gross color. And so towards the end of the last vial, I'm like, oh, feel a bit crook. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they finish They finish up. They're like, all right, uh, are you all good? Did you get your blood taken before? I was like, no, nah, oh, I've never done it. I feel all right. And they're like, all right, we'll just get you to sit there. Um, you, you just sit there for maybe 10 minutes. That's just what we have to do, um, just in case you feel a bit woozy. I was like, okay, fair enough. And so then I'm sitting there, and they're just, like, chatting to me, these, like, two nurses just chatting. And I think they could tell something was wrong because they're just talking to me. And I'm it's very similar chair to this, actually. So I'm sitting there, and I'm just stuck going, like, I get fully blurry. Like, my whole vision starts blurring just while I'm chatting. And I'm like... You know when you stand up too quick and your, yeah, your yeah. vision goes blurry and you're like, you just got to ride this out for 10 seconds. So I sort of thought it was that. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, I, got, I, I have low blood pressure generally. Yeah. So it, it's probably just getting used to it. It'll be maybe 30 seconds max. And so I'm like this, I'm like, just trying to talk back, just sort of slowing down <laughs> as I'm replying, starting to slur. Don't die, don't die, don't yeah. die. Yeah. <laughs> and so then it gets so bad and my head is so heavy. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and I can't even keep my head up My vision is completely black And I'm still trying to fight it I'm like <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Just back just No you just pass out Fully pass the fuck You're out kidding. Fully pass out oh. <laughs> It's so bad And so then I, I honestly have no idea How long I was out for I, I, ima- I imagine it was at least a minute because I had a mask around my face yeah. and I had a hat and everything on. And when I, when I like, I wake up, I, I can, s- the whole recollection of me passing out to when I woke up is nothing. And so then this is exactly how I woke up. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> just, com- just by pure compulsion, I've gone, where am I? What's going on? <laughs> like word to Dude. word, where am I? What's going on? And, so, and then they're like, it's okay. You just got your blood taken. I don't have a hat and mask on anymore. <laughs> So it's like it's okay, it's okay. You just passed out. Um, it happens sometimes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm like, fuck. And I honestly have never felt so crook in my entire life. That's so freaky. Oh my god. I felt so so sick. Like I couldn't see. Like even when I woke up, I could only see like the just a bit of light. I couldn't see shapes. I couldn't see anything. And I'm like, oh, where am I? Oh. And I like can't keep my head up and I'm like slumping over and I'm f- absolutely dripping in sweat. <laughs> like I've never been as, w- I reckon showers have got me drier <laughs> than I was then. It was, I was insanely wet and just Couldn't see. so sick, could not see. And it slowly starts coming back. The nurses are fanning me with paper, <laughs> yep. like with booklets and stuff and running over and f- getting cold towels to put on my head and stuff. Bro. And I'm like, fuck, this is embarrassing. And then, so I'm trying to pull my shit together and then I just feel so sick. And then my, my tummy starts feeling real sick as well. And I'm like, <sighs> and they're like, are you going to throw up? And I was like, I reckon. <laughs> so they bring over that little, that little condom bag. Yeah. Um, and they're just like, all right, just hold on to that. And I'm just like, <laughs> like a, like a, like a dog, just dry retching. like a sick oh. dog dry retching. I'm like, and the worst bit is they're there, so they can see my face. Go, <laughs> you, got, you, you know when you got like the tears when you yeah. like, like <laughs> my eyes are all watery and red. I'm dripping in sweat, just like I, oh, <laughs> just just the, just oh, the absolute man. image of hell. That's so grim. Yeah, it was actually. I, I honestly thought I was going to die. Like that moment when I first what woke up, and I was crook as. I honestly thought I was going to die. <laughs> You, you can't put on a walk and walk that one off. <laughs> you no. You've got to walk out there with your head down. Don't touch me. Don't touch don't me. Touch I'm fine. Fucking get off me, cunt. <laughs> but no, so then eventually I've just gone and fucking throw up in the bag just a little bit. And I start to feel a little bit better. They're still fanning me and stuff. And they're putting my legs up on the chair so I can get blood moving around me. So embarrassing. And then, I, then they were just like, all right, you feel better? I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, all right, we'll see you later. Come back if you feel sick. I was like. Okay. And I just walked out like so wobbly and I just walked up to the shops and got some lollipops. 
And your blood and sugar juice. back. Yeah, yeah I had to get my you blood sugar it. back up. Dude, that's fucked. So you nearly died over the break. I nearly died on my on my day off. Did they off. get the demons out <laughs> though? Not on your day off. <laughs> no, the demons are still there. <laughs> was that what this was for? They were draining the demons from your body? Yeah, I, well, I wish. They, they didn't do a very good job. Did, they, so. did they get the one you were trying to get off out though? The the one that's making it hard to get um, off? No, what they did tell me later was I had glandular fever for oh. like, like, <laughs> there he is. like three months before though. And I didn't know. And I'd just been right. Going to work and stuff because because yeah. like three months before that I had a day where I was like the crookest I've ever been in my life, <laughs> and it just but it was just for one day, and so yeah I had glandular fever a couple months beforehand. And how are you now? Oh, demon, t- <laughs> demon city, demon city, <laughs> demon up. Yeah. Let's go. Demon me and these up. boys parked up. Let's go. <laughs> that was pretty much all that happened to me under the break, but it was a pretty bad one. That is that pretty is bad. Wild. <laughs> so passed out, <laughs> vomited. Panicked a little bit when you woke up. Mm. Oh, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> bump that up to like a major panic. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing like the nurses host- over. A hostage situation. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, you'd want to hope you don't run into those nurses at Coles or somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks because my brother works at <laughs> oh, works so, like that. So you will. <laughs> and and he's asked them, like, do you remember this bloke passing out? And they were like, nah. No. Oh, so that's oh, good. Sure. That's good. It's a saving face. Yeah, it might be. And Patient confidentiality. Walk, walk past him in the milk car. Oh, don't vomit on me. <laughs> don't pass out again. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? You Little right? baby, you're going you know, you know, to pass out again? I just push them over and run away. <laughs> what about you, Joe? Oh, I, had, I had a bit of a, a wild couple of weeks a of a mishap. O- over the break. Had a bit of a mishap. Hmm. So not so much now, but when, when it was the first, the start of lockdown... Our, our yard is, we've got a massive house on one side and a massive house on the other side. So the yard doesn't get a lot of sun or didn't mm. back in winter. So naturally, had some, we were in lockdown, had some days off. I was like, you know what? We should get up on the roof, get elevated. Get some, get some vitamin get some D. Rays. from it. Yeah, just catch some rays catch from an elevated rays, position. Bro. So for a couple of days, we were just getting up on the roof. You know, we'd have fish and chips on the roof, just... A couple that of beers good. up there. That was a great time. Beers on the roof. There mightn't be anything better. Yeah. Beers on the roof in the sun. Roof hangs. I'm at at midday. Beat it. At How midday good. specifically. You can't beat it. You can't. So, yeah, a couple of days went past. Ro- getting up on the roof became a bit of a habit. And then there was one day where it was just me and Jake here. We were both just chilling at home. We are like, oh, it's a nice day. We'll get up on the roof. <clears throat> so I was just chilling up there. I think I was watching fucking anime or something up on the roof. Just wasn't, just wasn't drunk at all. Just It was like 10 a.m. Just chilling, enjoying the sunlight. And your anime. And my anime. Can I mention one thing? I wasn't watching anime. (laughs) And I don't want to be affiliated (laughs) just with that I was even there. So I was doing my own thing on my own phone. Paying no attention, but continue. Actively blocking out the anime. (laughs) I I was sending messages to people saying, fucking this door. I'm going to push him off the roof. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Jake Jake got a bit sick of the the anime penetrating his ear holes and decided to get mm. down off the roof. So he, he went to the studio, which is directly below, and he was just faffing around in the studio. Which is where I'll, we are now. Yeah, in the Heapcast HQ. How good mm. does it look? It looks amazing. So a little while passed, I was like, you know what? It's a bit cloudy up here. I might get down. And the ladder that we use to get up on the roof, it's not – the tallest ladder. Mm. Like there's a bit of a gap in between where you get down and where your legs touch the ladder. It's also about like 60 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I had never seen a ladder <laughs> like it before. We it's moved a pretty here. ancient ladder. Yeah. And it, it was always a bit sus getting up and down off the roof because of the ladder, but you know, you cop it for the vibes. But I was, I was like, I'll get down. So I'm sitting on the edge of the roof. The ladder's below me facing away from the roof. And I was just like, Oh, it's fine. I've done this a million times. I'll just lower myself down. And so I've lowered myself, my weight off the roof and I'm like swinging my legs around looking for the ladder and I'm like, oh, <laughs> the ladder's not there and my weight's fully off the roof already. And then there was like a split second where I was just like, ah, could be fucked here. <laughs> <laughs> Drat. <laughs> Drat. <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. And so I've started falling and as I've started falling, my legs have found the ladder. But because I'm already in motion, it didn't really do anything. It kind of just like kept my legs up where they should have been to start with. Mm. And my top half fell down further. Oh, so which just, isn't what you want. I've just fallen and I've hit the ground uh, probably 10 centimetres from the concrete pavers. Hit the ground like a sack of shit and just rolled out of it. And I was just, I was just 
on one knee, I was just on the ground. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> that didn't tickle. And Jake walks out of the studio. He's like, holy fuck, what was that? <laughs> and I was, just, I was just like, I was like, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'll be fine. I'll shake this one off. I was just like, I stood there for like 30 more seconds. I was like, oh, I do not feel good, eh? Just a body falling yeah, from just the sky. Just yeah. legs dangling and then <laughs> and then just the sack falling. Like a fallen angel. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly Except that watches anime. So was it karma? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anything as funny as your legs dangle off. I'm like, oh, he's getting down. I wonder why. And then just fully falling and your leg getting caught in the ladder and your body slamming like oh, fucking WWE onto the ground. <laughs> But yeah, so I was just just there just trying to pull my shit together. And I was like, I feel fucked. So I just like lay back on this beanbag that was there. I'm just like just trying to breathe. I was like, oh my God. My leg was fucked. It had like a huge dent in it from where it hit the ladder. I was Massive like, please dent. don't let me have broken my leg. And then I was like, oh, fuck, my shoulder hurts. And I reached up and I just feel this fucking jagged pointy bit just poking out of where my collarbone was. And I was just like, oh, Jake, I think this might be an Ambo job. <laughs> <laughs> I remember specifically in my head as oh, well dude. going, I, I, I said it out loud to you. I was like, really? Do you need an ambulance? <laughs> and you're like, I think so. And I was like, you don't want me to just drive you there? And you're like, no, I think I need one. <laughs> and in my head, I was sort of like, come on, baby. <laughs> come on. I was, just, I was just like, had my hand over this like pointy bit. And I was just like, why does it feel like that? That's not what it felt like before. And then, yeah, Jake called the Ambos and they just came. And I was just like lying outside of this beanbag. <laughs> the in blanket me. over you because you were cold. Yeah, I was freezing. I think the shock made me cold. But I was just in bodies with a blanket and just just cooving to take my mind off it. And they were just like, they rocked up and they're like, oh, what have you done here, mate? I was just like, you know, fell off the roof. <laughs> How'd you manage that? I was just like, oh, just, you know, was catching some sun up there. And they were just like, oh, fucking you hell. imbecile. <laughs> yeah, that was, the, that was the consensus. Anytime I explained it, they were like, what are you doing on the roof? I was you were like, watching anime, weren't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get I've out of my ambulance. I've seen this before. <laughs> you, buddy, can walk. <laughs> what are you going to fucking Naruto run to the hospital? Because you're not getting in here. <laughs> But oh yeah, so I spent I spent the next six weeks in a sling, and lots of pain. <laughs> it was not much fun, and yeah, it wasn't. It was fun for me to watch, <laughs> yeah. and, and just the videos of you getting carted off with the ambulance and getting your big needle in your arm. Just and my, stuff. all my morphine. <laughs> yeah, so much morphine injected straight in my bloodstream. That bit was fun. You, was the, it actually? Did the morphine get you? Uh, not really. I didn't want to have too much. I didn't want to wig out. Mm. They were just like, oh, you might you might have a bit of a flush. And I was just like, oh, I don't really want that. So, so I kind of held off on the morphine. In hindsight, really? I should have loaded up on it. Yeah, I think it would be an experience. Yeah, but I was too scared of like wigging out not in the ambulance <laughs> and it, and when I got to the hospital. And because it was COVID, no one could come visit you at the hospital either. Well, I was only there for half an hour. Yeah, I know. But if you're worried about the morphine, it's not like you're going to say, say things that you regret. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like... Yeah, jacked up on morphine, just spouting shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think I want to kiss dudes. <laughs> I'll say that sober. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty quick hospital visit. Like I was like in there walking around just in my swimmers and thongs because I didn't because I didn't have a shirt. So I was like strolling around the hospital, walking past all these patients, just like <laughs> bare, just in just your bodies. In my bodies. Like the <laughs> ultimate like frat frat yeah, guy. Yeah. That's literally what it was <laughs> like. With your bass pro hat on. Because yeah. I was like, fuck this, I'm not putting my flat Sorry, on. we just had Project X on the roof and yeah. I've <laughs> broken my collarbone. It was weird. Like the, cause there was like nurses and stuff in like the scrubs and I'm just walking around literally like half naked. Just <laughs> Like Walking through around. doing these ones. Yeah. <laughs> Off your head. Hi, a doll face. <laughs> it was super weird. I was like, should I put clothes on? I feel like it'll hurt to put clothes on. I'm not going to put clothes on. Am I? <laughs> I'm oh, pretty eats why now, but <laughs> yeah, all good. rough couple of weeks. We'll chuck the photo of the collarbone up. Yeah, we'll chuck the x-ray on just to show you the gravitas mm. of the situation. We're really oh. making the most of, of having this on yeah. video. Yeah. We're going to edit it. This is it's just nice. what we need. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> How good. 
Um, where are we rolling next? Then we should hit some some heavy stories. You want to go to the heavy stories to add to the ones that right. we just because that was already unloaded on you. <laughs> all right, that's just the break. Now we've got actual <laughs> heap stories. Yeah, not constricted by the break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is just in general now. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Did we want to call Luca now, or did we want to um roll into our ones? I can we roll into our ones? Yeah, yeah. roll into yours roll first. Into ours. Mine, mine's not so bad, but it's 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 pretty funny. So obviously when my collarbone was fucked, I had a bunch of time off work and I texted my boss. I called my boss the day it happened. I was like, oh, I've had a little bit of a mishap. Probably won't mm. be at work for a while. Quite the fandango. On my <laughs> and he was just like, oh, well, you'll have lots of time to focus on uni work. And I was like, oh yeah, sweet. Whatever you say, pal. Yeah, whatever you say. I'll be back in whatever, six weeks is when I was supposed to go back. And so... My, my boss at work, like he's, he's an all right dude, but like he can be a bit of a cunt sometimes, mm. especially to labor hire. Like he's ruthless with labor hire. Right. Like since I've been there- Which is with, what Joe does. Yeah. So what, since I've been there, me and one other dude have lasted and then we've had like 15 plus other dudes come and go. And the rest of them all finished. Yeah. They've lasted like, <laughs> like a, a day <laughs> or like a week max. So I'm gone, but I'm like, oh, I'm sweet. I've been there since March. Like I'll- just go back when mm. I'm healed. Full time, baby. Full time, baby. I texted my boss the week before I was supposed to go back. I was like, oh, so I've just been for a GP scan. I'm sweet to come back next week. And he left me on red. Not a good start. <laughs> Not a good start. And I was just like, oh, fuck it. He's probably busy. And I was like wigging out about it. But my other mate from work, I'd been Snapchatting him. And he was like, oh, you're never coming back. Like you're, you've been sacked. But he also talks a bunch of shit. So I was just like, ah, oh, okay. yeah, fuck off. Yeah, right. I'll Whatever see you say it. again, see, pal. Yeah, see you in a couple of weeks. He's like, nah, you're never coming back. I was like, yeah, fuck off, idiot. <laughs> but after after I got left on red, I was just like, am I never coming back? Mm, don't know, hey. And I was like starting to wig out a bit. Like in like a couple of days before I went back, I was just like, fuck, what if I have been sacked? But I was just like, you know what? No, no, I haven't been sacked. I'm just going to rock up. Mindset, manifest. Yeah, manifest. I was manifesting still having a job. Mm. So I rocked up on the Monday morning and my leading hand, like the second in command, just looks at me and he goes, what the fuck are you doing here? And I was just Ooh. like, I was just like, oh, I'm here to work. And he goes, I'm not fucking dealing with this. And I was just like, <laughs> the fuck? Oh. And I'm like talking to everyone else and like, oh, fucking Joe, where you been? Where you been? I didn't think you were coming back. I was like, well, I'm, I'm here. I don't know like, where you got that idea. Yeah, I don't know where you get that idea. I was like starting to stress a little bit. I was like, I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to, confidence is key here. Mm. Everyone's asking like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I thought you were gone. I was like, this, this might take a little bit of work. And the boss shows up and I was just like, walked up to him and he's just like, big daddy. did I text you to come in? And I, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, I don't think I did. Ooh. And I was just like, I'm pretty mm. fucking sure you did. And he's like looking at me sus and I'm just like, yeah, you definitely texted me. So what am I doing today? And he's like, looks at me for a second. He's just like, righto, jump, jump in the roller. And I was just like, yes. Well played. <laughs> well so played. Like, game ah. respects game. And over the whole day, everyone was just like, dude, you were like properly sacked. And I was just like, yeah, I'm starting to piece that together now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I don't Bro. know why, but yeah, the leading hand came up to me and he's like, oh, did you tell Craig you were coming back? I was like, yeah. He goes, Fuck you weren't supposed to And I was just like Well fucking Here I am oh. so, <laughs> so I just like Isn't that uncomfortable my, Yeah oh, A little bit For the first That's time. wild That's sick Well done Especially because we well had played. a huge weekend That weekend And I was still super scat When I went back to work mm. So I was just peaking the whole day I was just like What the fuck am I doing here like, I don't have enough serotonin for this. Yeah literally I was like Do I have this job or not But still there Pulled it off There you <laughs> go he smelt the lack of fear. Part, if he had smelt it, he'd gone, get it. Part out of here, two of the story. Part two. So the part job, duo. the job that I got assigned when I got back, they had someone else quit. So they were like, "Oh, you can drive the the steamroller. That can be your job here." So I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sweet." Like I'm a bit rusty on it. Like took a little bit getting used to it again. But I was like, "Sweet, this is fine, easy enough." But th the thing is, they park the steamrollers like pretty much right up against the shipping containers with all the gear in them. Right. Like as a as a security thing, you can't get into the containers if you can't move the rollers. Mm. But so my first job every morning is to like back these rollers up so they're not in front of the shipping containers. But there is a tiny, tiny gap between the roller and the containers. So you've got to be super, super like precise with how you're steering these things 
to get them out. Like it's fucking precision shit okay. to be doing it like five past seven every morning. Yeah. On my second day back, there was me oh, no. and there was another new laborer, like this old bloke. Mm. Like nice enough dude now, but like a bit of a useless kind at the same time. Like I don't know how he's still there, but we're the two new ones. And there's two rollers to move. Normally, I've been doing both of them. But on the second day, he moved one. I taught him how to do it. And then I had to move the second one. And it's five past seven. I'm still pretty sleepy. Fucking second day back at work, still rusty, still Mm -hmm. scat. He backs the first one out fine. I jump in the second one and I'm backing it up. And the roller wheel gets caught on one of the hinges of one of the container doors. And I was just like, I saw it. I was saw it. I was like, oh, fuck. That'll be fine. Kept going back. Wasn't fine. And just wrenched this fucking bolt thing off, like bent it 90 degrees. I was just like, fuck, that's not good. No one saw me. I'm just going to keep backing it out of there. So I just backed the roller out, went about my day and left it with this fucking thing bent all the way off. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, boy. And (laughs) at the end of the day, someone found it and they were like, oh, Fucking that useless old cunt moving, <laughs> moving the rollers, bend this you fucking container. Oh. And I was just like, I've been here for two days, barely scraped my job back. Now might be the not be the best time for to be yeah. honest, John, in this situation. So I just left it. Everyone was so- You let him take the fall. You let him take the fall. <laughs> Everyone oh. was ripping into this old dude. First of all, in my defense, he was a useless cunt. So it like stood to reason that he did it. <laughs> But everyone was just like, did you do this? And he was just like, no, 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 no. And they were like, fuck off, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Sure, he would have known oh. you did it though, surely. But no one saw me. He wouldn't have known who did it. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, but she, I was just like, I'm going to lose my job again if I confess to this now. Fuck. And I was just like- That makes he, me sweaty. <laughs> I was just like, he's useless. He'll be gone by the end of the week and I will never get found out. He's still there now. So, I don't know. Oh. It's now too late to own up to it. <laughs> it's yeah. way too late, dude. You could be the, on the chopping block. The here. container's been fixed, so hopefully everyone will like bygones be bygones. Well, in six months, say, hey, you remember that Ben thing? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> yeah. By the way. And it's like, the worst bit is, it's like an ongoing joke that this old bloke fucked the container. <laughs> oh, comes up every do get, day. Do you get in on it? You nearly said yes. <laughs> you tease him for it, don't you? Yeah, you fucking you go, rinse him oh, every this day. Useless, this useless <laughs> guy, he's so bad at driving the thing. <laughs> oh, look at you, you fucking old prick. When are you going to break the next container, you dog? Oh, oh, I just Joe. like, anytime the joke, I just boost. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> this <laughs> sucks enough without me joining in on this. No, you got to get in on the joke. Otherwise, they're going to think it's yeah, you. Man, yeah, man, they might catch you. I like you. laugh, but I don't, I don't like further the joke because I'm like, like, I'm just the worst person already. If I start like make, if I like make my own jokes about this, I just, I'm going to hell. <laughs> You're already going there. Rip him a new one. Oh, oh bro. The demons, bro. <laughs> the fucking demons. Uh, it'll come back. My bet. It'll come. So it'll come back to bite you. <laughs> it always get, does. The worst it thing is he's, he's a nice dude as well. Like <laughs> since then, he's like talked bro. to me like about uni and stuff. I'm like, oh, and he needs this job. I, w- I wish you were an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel better about this. <laughs> he's a single dad oh, with kids at home, Joe. He's got <laughs> mouths to feed and you're, you're out here selling him out for pride. Better him than me, all I'm saying. Okay. So basically the premise of this is, as I said earlier, my brother, Luca, um, he works at like Lavity... Um, pathology. He, yeah, pathology type things yeah. where they're, they're taking blood. blood they're, taking, they're taking little swimmers, little oh, spermy little boys. Swimmers. Other they're fluids. taking yeah every fluid Platelets that you can smag- think of. I don't think you could find a fluid they don't take. <laughs> <laughs> Smagma, forget about it. They got it. <laughs> they have everything. Eye boogers, yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they take eye boogers. <laughs> <laughs> they got a bit of everything in there. In a little three thing, vials of eye boogers in a little container. Um, That's wild. <laughs> so he started working there recently, and he's got he's got some. Pretty wild stories. Fuck. Anywhere where that, that many fluids are kept around, yeah. something, something's going something's on. Something's bound to come out. So we've got, we've got stories Multiple about, things are bound about to come everything. Out. So I've got him lined up. He's going to get on the phone now um, and he's going to tell us about a couple of those stories. Just just some, a couple of little funny ones and then there's one really, really bad Hebe <laughs> thing that's like 
you will never ever forget. Let's go. Let's go. We'll get him on the phone now. Is he serious? Are you serious? What could he possibly? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you weren't going to pick up. I was like, we fucking planned this. I know. I was getting to the car, all right? I needed a safe place to talk. Oh, that's that's <laughs> fair enough. All right. Well, yeah. you're on the pod officially, Luca. Um, our our second call, our third caller ever. Yeah. Welcome. Um, really? Yes. It's, wow. It's a prestigious place to be, number three. Um. We've got all the cameras set up. It's unfortunate you couldn't be here tonight, but we've got you on the phone, the second best thing. Yeah, so, exactly. Yes, exactly. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Oh, thanks so for coming welcome. on. Anytime. We might have to do like a siblings episode one yeah. time. That'd be Ooh. funny. Um, That'd be good. I was talking I was talking to mum. Mum wants to come on the podcast. <laughs> that is not happening. Like fuck. <laughs> she's, she's not even allowed to listen to it. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I was just telling the boys... Um, that you've started working, uh, taking taking fluid samples. <laughs> Indeed. Um, <laughs> and so I know you have a couple stories you've told me about this already and I thought it would be the perfect place to let it all out. Um, <laughs> Get it yeah. off your chest. On on the pod, just just hit us with it. So maybe do you want to start with those couple couple of more dirtier ones and then move into the humdinger? <laughs> dirty ones. Yep, yep. Save the humdinger for last. Start off with... There's just been like a few times because we work, we do like, we take blood, but we also have to like process like stool samples and stuff like that. Stool samples. Stool, if you will. Bit of poo. Working with the poo-poos, yeah. (laughs) Let's go. Mm. Um, So we have like special like little containers for it and it has like a little scoop in there. So it's like... The poo scoop? You don't read... A poo scoop, a poo scoop, yeah. Like a a McFlurry spoon? (laughs) Yeah. Somewhat, yeah. But, but a with, with a straw. <laughs> with a straw. <laughs> like a, like a straw. yogurt you get from Aldi that has a little spoon attached to the lid. Yeah. And the, the, the yeah. other, the other section the with s- the muesli in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same as the ones from 7-Eleven with the little, that you get the slushies with. The spork. <laughs> <laughs> the chibani. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you got, so you got the chibani spoon um, with the poo, yeah, with the yeah. poo scoop. So, well, we're supposed to have the chibani spoon. But there was this one time we had this woman come in and she just had an entire turd <laughs> <laughs> in like a little bit of like toilet paper. Oh, and what? she came in and she tried to hand it to us and like my manager was working with me. And yeah, and thankfully I wasn't the one that had to deal with it. But my manager, she, like, pretty, much, she pretty much yelled at this poor old woman and she was like, Absolutely not. We don't accept so full problem. shits here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> next door. That's oh, yeah. Like the one, so she walked in with a full poo with like a yeah. handful of paper holding it. She's just like, what do I yeah, do yeah. with this? <laughs> he walked in and she was like, I was like, oh, I just have to drop off a stool sample. And we were like, okay, excellent. The, the where's, thing your about samples. Chobani, where's your Chobani sample? Like, where's your Chobani Container. Yeah. Oh, oh fucking hell. So it just splats it on the table, full fist. Yeah. <laughs> and here's my paperwork. It just sticks it on top. <laughs> it's wrapped in the paperwork. <laughs> yeah. It's squeezing between our fingers like a like a like a mud pie when you're five yeah. years old in the backyard. Oh, bro. Yuck. So, so I know you have a lot of a lot of pooey ones. Um, <laughs> any other mm. fluids? <laughs> any other fluids? There um, have been some other fluids. <laughs> All in a day's oh. work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have to like we have to process like semen samples as well. So that's yeah, fun good stuff. Yeah, good. And yeah, and it's like this, it's a super strict kind of system where it has to go like from the depths of your balls to under the microscope with like in an hour. Or else, oh, like it's dude. like worse. It doesn't count. The, yeah, the production line. So, so the exactly. so the swimmers don't die. Exactly, swimmers <laughs> not very not very hardy. Die <laughs> off very, very quickly. <laughs> oh, that, those little organisms! You can't trust them as far as you can throw them. <laughs> yeah, and I will throw them. <laughs> yeah. So it has to get to the lab within an hour, but it kind of sucks for the people who live like more than an hour away from the lab. True. They kind of like they need somewhere else to kind of. Pull the patch, you know. Yeah, make <laughs> it, it happen. Relieve themselves. Yeah, yeah if you see. will. In the, 
Just deposit their seed into yeah. the Chobani cup. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that'd be, that'd be crude. Um, <laughs> How very vulgar of you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so we have like a special room. I think it's somewhere in like Qatar or something where these gentlemen can go to this wank room and bust one out, as it were. So next next time you're at the so Homemaker Centre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're in the mood. Yeah. I think, the, I think the place is called like bed, bath, and table. You just walk in there start, yeah, yeah. start thrashing away. <laughs> yeah, it's, you light a couple of those candles. Yeah, someone's some tapestries all about. Wow, wait, what a mood. Yeah. There's more than enough couches in there. Just pick one. Yeah. <laughs> Is, I, this, mm, is, ocean scented. is this not the wank sensor? <laughs> I, I personally, I normally take the one on display in front of the glass. <laughs> yeah. Get a bit of a peanut gallery going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's mannequins just, either side of me. What can I say? I just like the people watch. <laughs> so it's like in this little room, they've got like, they've got like, like porn magazines and everything. and Old school. Like people, a couple of Ralphs. Yeah. A bit of, bit of yeah. Zoom magazine. A couple of Playboys. Oh, oh vintage. <laughs> say less. Well loved. <laughs> um, like they're also allowed to bring uh, a partner, a friend, someone to a come friend. along this journey with them. A helping hand. Yeah, a helping hand, exactly. Um, and it's like super strict as well. Like you're not allowed to use any like lube or condoms or saliva or anything like that. It's like you got to raw dog it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Why can't you use that because uh, like his, like condoms and lube and stuff have like spermicide in them, so. Like pesticides? Contaminate the, the batch. The batch, a fresh yeah, batch. Yeah, it, it like kills the sperm. Mm. Oh, hate it yeah. when that happens. Not- yeah. They're made for, I guess. I just yeah. gotta, you gotta give it to you gotta give it to skin with a wire. Mm. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that. <laughs> really perfected the formula. They know yep. their job and they pull it off as best they can. Yep, so we want hundred percent pure and fresh semen. Spunk. As, like like as Harris it Farm exactly. as it were. Harris Farm market sperm. Yeah. 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 Organic. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Farmer's market sludge. Mm. Um, so there was this one guy, I was working at this place, and he comes in with his girlfriend, and he had a booking. So we were like, okay, great, like, come on through, sort of thing. So he goes into this room, we told him the rules no condoms, no lube, no saliva, whatever. And they're like, yep, okay, fantastic, we can do that. And so it gets to the point, it's been like 30 minutes, like 45 minutes, sort of. It's been a while. And this guy, he comes out to the corner, not come. Dude, he approaches me at the desk. Yeah. Pants yeah. around his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dark nude, covered in sweat. Um, and he looks a bit. He looks a bit nervous. He looks a bit awkward. And he's like, "Oh, am I allowed to bring someone else in? I have someone else I want to bring." <laughs> no. And I was like, I was like, oh Jesus Christ! He's like starting an orgy now. Like, where the fuck's my invite? Jesus. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and so I was like, I don't see why not. As long as the, as long as the cum is fresh, I don't really care what you do in there. And that um, applies to general life as well. I have two boxes yeah. to tick here. It's got to be fresh. And it's got to be pure. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? And it yeah. has to also be in the cup. <laughs> That's not yeah, my jurisdiction. Please, preferably. <laughs> yeah. And so this guy, he's like. Okay, great. Um, then he like calls this person, and like maybe like five minutes later, this woman walks in, and this is the very heavy bit. I hope you're sitting down. Oh, um, oh, we are. He's waiting for it, and she comes in, and he goes, "Oh, mum, thank God you could come." Oh, Dude, no. oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, oh, my God, he, no. <laughs> Hello, mummy. He takes his actual. <laughs> He takes his actual biological mother into this wank room. Not even stepmom. No, no, mother, mother. Yeah, mother dearest. Mother dearest. Fruit of my loins. <laughs> yeah. And I'm crying. then <laughs> this guy out in five minutes. Oh, oh my god! god. Fuck. I know. Come on, sweetie, know you can do stuff. it. Yeah. You. <laughs> so fucked. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what kind of talent bro, his mother has, like, but hold on, my mum's within fifty kilometers of here. I need to make sure she's further away. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Can I just give her a ring to make sure she's at least 100 kilometers away? <laughs> what would his girlfriend be thinking? What's home Do you like? Do think he's jealous? How's Christmas yeah. been? What's that like? <laughs> Yuck! Oh wow, it's one of those things you don't even know how to how to make jokes about. Yeah, because it's, it's all yeah. too rogue. <laughs> it, it, it feels like very low hanging fruit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fragile little brains can't even comprehend it properly to make jokes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's going to take a couple like weeks. just like red tape, red tape, red tape. <laughs> yeah. You almost don't want to think like, about don't, it. Just, just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm coming up with jokes, I'm thinking about this too hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Corruption. But yes, so that's the story. Oh, that that's was a hundred. I hope this is enjoyable for all of you. Thank you very much for coming on, Luca. I'll thanks, call you afterwards. Thanks, Luca, for the... For the Heaps far <laughs> yeah. out for the nightmares, for yeah. the nightmares, yeah. for, wow. the, for the cum dinger. Oh, t- talk about <laughs> yeah. talk about the demons. Cum <laughs> yeah, good to get uh, off my chest. <laughs> good to talk to someone about this. Yeah, it's good. We're cheaper than therapy. We've always said that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And ten times more effective. That's yeah. a fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, it. laughter is the best medicine, Davis. <laughs> yeah. Just put it out for the world to hear and just let her rip. That's what I always <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Eyes closed, head first, cannot lose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for that, Luca. Thanks, we'll Luca. Take it easy. Yeah, all right. Ciao. All right. Thank you for having me. It's been an honor. Oh, it's been an honor to <laughs> it's have been you. An honor. Peace. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Oh, hung up early. <laughs> but how is that? That That's is wild. Rogue. That is fucked up. That is wild. <gasps> oh, but in saying that, after this, do you want to head over to one of those rooms? Who can who have a little we'll, race? We'll find a three. Yeah, we'll we'll a find race. a three seater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep it on the down low. All right, and now this DJ Heapcast is going to make a lot more sense. <laughs> Let's go. Let her rip. One, One cold night, I'm gonna fight my cum. Headphones on and the Heapcast come. Wait all week, now the app is done. Headphones on and the heap cast come We had a long break, now listen to our podcast Headphones on and the heap cast come If you're donating sperm, make sure to bring your mother Don't do that, that is weird as fuck Six apps, seven apps, eight apps, nine How many apps till again we're gone? Well, oh, that was very good. Well, we. How good's that? Oh, that was a feel good. It was, it was nice, a feel nice good feel one. Good in the middle of the app. As long as you cut out that one line, that made me feel great. <laughs> yeah. So we thought we'd uh, touch on Squid Game. Mm, huge I'm excited thing. for this. So uh, while well, it's still well, topical, yeah. Well, over the break, that was probably one of the well, definitely one of the biggest yeah, things everyone was talking it's about. Like number one Netflix show in the whole world, like of all time. Yeah, it was like the quickest ever. To hit ever. however many views. First of all, what what did we think about it? I, I really liked it. I really liked it. I thought did, it was Have you sick. even finished it? Yeah, I finished <laughs> it. It took me about it took me like ten weeks when I got there. I really liked it. I think I, I finished it, it in like a day and one episode. <laughs> what I didn't like is that they set it up for a second season. I thought it was better yeah, as a standalone sucked. thing. Did they? Yeah. yeah. He goes oh, back. He's he going back to like I'm fucking deadbeat ass dude doesn't go to his daughter and like goes and tries turns oh, around oh yeah you know, I'm gonna stop the game I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna stop it don't rate that I did think one thing someone said that was good was they shouldn't do the second season with him like yeah, it's, it's better if there's different like they focus on different people's experience because you know, you know how there's been heaps of them heaps of games like mm. they should just do it different characters entirely with different games but like, isn't it just gonna dude. be pretty much the same thing I wonder if there's different games it's different games, I guess, but I don't know. I, I, it, it seems like it would end up being pretty much the same thing with different games. The main character is going to win. What if he doesn't? The season will be like three episodes <laughs> long, and it'll be I'd almost sort of rather that. I'd almost rather no episodes long. <laughs> I, 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 I want a redux of the last episode where he doesn't go back. Yeah, I didn't like how they set it up to do another one. I thought it was better just oh, this crazy thing happened, and now he's going to yeah, just get away from it. Yeah. Just check out. Ditch it forever. Yeah. All right. I've got a couple. Did Did you watch it with um like the dub, the English dub? Yes. yes. All right. I couldn't do it. I tried to watch it with the Korean one, but I'm just on my phone too much, and I end up missing missing huge chunks. Yeah. <laughs> I've do do looked down for thirty seconds, and there's just some <laughs> super expositional dialogue, and I'm like, well, yeah. I don't know what happened. Half the story. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Initially, I started with the dub and the subtitles, but the dub was different to the subtitles, so and I was like, well, different. which is right? <laughs> It's so blatantly different. Sometimes the whole sentence was like a completely different sentence. It, it was like, 
he was saying like in the thing, he's like, oh, the next game l- looks like it will be intense. We have to make a team. Yeah. And then the the fucking the subtitle was yeah. just something completely different. <laughs> the following challenge looks super difficult. I think we should assemble some people <laughs> together to do this one yeah. and collaborate. Yeah. I actually saw crazier ones than that. They <laughs> just were different lines. But different this, is, this is what me and Jake already said. How fucking hard is it? To just listen to what you're hearing <laughs> and, and type, type it. <laughs> why, why, why have you got to change stuff? You're not going to yeah. get done for plagiarism. Bro, you only yeah. need eight people to do one episode each. Like they can yeah. watch it a couple times, make sure they yeah. got it yeah. right. Yeah, just nail it. You're, you're not getting similarity checked on your fucking subtitles. They're supposed to be the same. Yeah. <laughs> you're not supposed to take creative license with it. Yeah. I don't need it. I don't. I don't need your your extra little input on whatever yeah. they're saying. I, I would prefer it because obviously there's that the bit of a language barrier. So it's sort of slightly different. It's always yeah. going to be slightly different, the sentences. I would rather it be the sort of disjointed sentence that it would be in English if you translated it yeah. exactly. Yeah. The subtitle should have been fired straight up. Yeah. You had one job and you fumbled it immensely. Yeah. Well, it does raise some great questions though. <laughs> the Squid Games, as I'm, as I'm sure you've all thought about. <laughs> it does. Um, well, for starters, would you would you can if you got the knock on the door or the guy played the game and give gave you the card? How are you feeling? So what's the scenario? Are we the main dude? I can't remember his name. You're any you're just you're in any of crippling them. financial debt. But do I have a family? Well, let's just start now. Yeah, you just got given go the now. card just right now. now. Right yeah. now, I wouldn't go in, and I I'm not, not in crippling either. financial debt. And no, I have you a family. are. We'll say you are. You're we'll you're, you're, you're are. 35 milli in debt. 35 million. More that's than that, it was like 350 mil. Yeah, that, they were all in like... Right, even now, we're just doing for 350 mil. Can I, get, can I get a scenario thrown at me on how I lost that much money? Just so I can sort of take the character on? Same game multis. <laughs> <laughs> I lost 350 million doing same game multis? Yeah, it was a cracker of an NRL season and you just couldn't stop. <laughs> Jeez. Your demons really are the best of you <laughs> this, yeah. this season. Fucking hell. The I Knights lost the grand final and you were just on this big thing and you put all your life savings God, the I had a terrible year on the pine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you went to the races a couple of times too, <laughs> but <laughs> that was just adding to the damage. It, you just had a couple big nights on the piss <laughs> and, and you're 350 million in debt. It's super, <laughs> super like hard to say because I massively think I'm invincible. And right, I, no, that's I, good. Run I with can, that, and I can just win anything. Right, when that's obviously not the case. But I'm pretty confident I would win the Squid Game. <laughs> <laughs> which begs the question: which, which games do you think you would have had the best chance at surviving? Right, so the first one's red light, green light. Easy, easy, we'll, we'll easy. Done. That. That's we'll child's play. That. Are you kidding? Unless, <laughs> unless you take the piss initially, like those two first teams yeah. did. I put money on the first one over the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 100%. That game was a piece of piss. Yeah. Pass. Kids, pass. Kids play that every day of their lives and they... like. I reckon I didn't lose red light, green light as a kid Undefeated. in my life. Undefeated. Undefeated. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's an easy pass. Second one was the... Was it the shapes? The cookie one. The cookie one. So Surviving uh, the cookie one. That's hard. I... Would have guessed what the challenge is. <laughs> <laughs> I, did you guess? Did you guess before? Like well, I saw it on TikTok, but oh, right. But I was obviously I going to. I pick, definitely didn't guess. Did you? Without a no, doubt, I was picking one. the easier shape. No yeah, matter what definitely. the challenge is, I definitely. was never. See, picking I definitely that. would have gone star or umbrella. <laughs> really? So, so you're fucked. You're out at oh, that point. I'm fucked. Yeah. Just, just no I, doubt. But I then again, I would have thought. I feel like I would have thought of the licking, the licking thing. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like that was obvious. I would have gone. Yeah, let's give this a crack. It was circle one. Circle, yeah. well. circle, triangle, mm. star, star umbrella. umbrella. I probably would have gone triangle, actually. Mm. That, yeah. That's I, would have gone, I reckon I would have gone star or circle. Yeah. And one, one of those would have been my demise. But that being said... Could you pass it? To be fair, I've got a steady hand. Mm. And I'm, I reckon I could have done it. I got the fucking shakes and I reckon I could pass <laughs> it. Yeah, I don't know if I would have passed that one. I'm not, not steady enough. On not the, steady enough. I just get so impatient. The, the tug of war ones entirely dependent on your team. So yeah. for the sake of the uh, the exercise, we'll say we passed that we one. We smashed it. Yeah. Smashed that one. You assembled the dudes. We're obviously going to find yeah, the boys. going to be the, the boys team. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's a pass. The next one. Marbles. Uh, marbles. Yeah. Smoke yeah. Um, we've established that I'm a terrible person who likes... <laughs> fuck someone other people under the bus. Great. So yeah, that's he's, a, he's the first one out. That yeah, bitch. That's a clean sweep, that one. <laughs> that's <laughs> a tough on. one. How about this? You, you've built like a really great rapport. Like, you know how there was that guy with his wife in there? Ah, yeah. You've built like a, a great rapport. Let's say it's not your wife though, because obviously your you're going to sacrifice though. yourself. Yep. Unless, 
Unless. Unless. <laughs> Unless. It's your mom. <laughs> yeah, then I obviously sacrifice myself. But anyone that I know really well, I'll, I'll fucking throw that thing. Like, I guess you know how the two the two chicks did the one where you throw it close yeah, to the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if it's anyone that I'm good, have a good relationship with, I'm going to fucking throw that thing as far away as I can the other way. <laughs> yeah. And that makes me Agreed. a really, really great, noble, mm. handsome dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the lady's going to love that one. <laughs> Can we get a knighthood or somehow? How do we, how do, we do that? Yeah, Are you a saint yet? Or what's the go? Well, I'm hoping <laughs> just the nobleness of that in itself is going to get us a couple sponsors. It, on that episode, dude, when the bad guy um, threw the Indian guy under the bus, that, that really yeah, hurt my that, heart. That the bad guy, sucked. Yeah, I the fucking, bad guy sucked. At the Sang start, Wu? I was like, this good's cool. Yeah, Sung Woo. Sung Woo. Yeah. yeah. yeah Andy, Andy, speaking of, he used his mum's business as collateral. What a dog. Yeah, yeah. massive Fuck dog. That Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Yeah, we, we, we fucking hate Sungwoo. <laughs> Still not um, the worst thing someone's used their mum for this episode. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he comes a close second. Not even close. But um, yeah, I hated him. When he killed the girl, I can't remember oh, her name. I hated that. But I, I, oh, that's how I cried at that. I was like, fuck. Oh. What a dog. That was very saddening. He's never coming on the podcast. No, never. <laughs> yeah. He's on the naughty list. He's on the Sun naughty Wu list. Sung Wu is more than well and truly on the naughty list. Yeah, he made it. Just in time for Christmas. <laughs> Pretty well. <laughs> That's I mean, so funny. Don't get a start when we on make that. the list, he's on the list. 100%. Sung Woo. <laughs> Quickly, is anyone else on our naughty list this year? Anyone else added? I can't think of anyone else on our naughty list. Me, borderline. <laughs> you're close. <laughs> yeah, dude. Until you admit to it, you're on the naughty list. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'm on that thing for life. <laughs> I'm taking that to the grave. <laughs> That will come back to bite you. Can't wait till the episode where we get to discuss it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a head story. That's legit karmic suicide. <laughs> um, what was the next game? The uh, tiles. Glass jumping. Now, that's a fucking hard what, one. What number would you have picked? Did you, like When they had the numbers lined up, I, I went, oh, I think I would have picked. I'm going 13 or 14, I reckon. I would have gone late. I would have gone late middle. Late middle. I would have gone third. I, went, I said four. So eight. yeah, pretty well exactly where you said. I said four. Which eight, turns so out we, we would have died. We all would have died so fast. No, hold on, oh, we would have survived. No, we would have survived. We all survived. Why? Yeah, because one goes first. We would have survived. 13, 14, 15 survived. 14, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. No, 14, I think 15, 15 16. It. Wasn't there 16? Yeah, 16. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, well, whoever got 13 sucks to suck. Yeah. <laughs> we would have survived. We survived. Yeah. yeah. Let's By go. sheer fluke, that one. Yeah. Because that one was a tough one. And then Squid Game's a piece of cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smash that Legit. shit. I just all, just all agree to it. not do it. At that point, you just like- You don't get money. Ah, true. Fuck. The whole thing was pointless. You killed people. True. Would you yeah. have killed someone when the lights went out? What if someone oh, tried that, to? What if someone tried to kill you while the lights were out? I'd kill him. <laughs> Probably beat, <laughs> beat him up. Here. If it's Sung Woo, <laughs> yeah. Sung Woo, get the fuck out of here. That's what I would have done as soon as the lights. I would have hunted Sung Woo. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Sung Woo. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't have even just killed it's him. The up. squid. <laughs> yeah. Before the lights even went out, I would have been across the fucking room going. <laughs> You're done for You made me world. ink <laughs> Forget about it Yeah he's done Oh I don't know I would have If someone came for me I've got no qualms <laughs> Smacking them over the head With some broken bed frame mm. <laughs> Whether they die or not I don't know But I'll do what I have self to Self defence I'll do what I have yeah. to Let's go I'm not it, out okay. blood though So say us three are in the squid game <laughs> Fuck and The lights go out And there's that big mean bully dude Oh, three on one. John Dok Su. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, in the last one. Yeah, in the last one. And he's trying to kill us? No, no, no. Just when the lights go out like three games in. Oh, right, right, right. What, what's happening? So the lights have gone out. Yeah. When all the lights went out and there was that big brawl. Yeah. There's that big bully dude. Yeah. We're killing him. Mm. Mm. If he comes for us. No, but are we actively going to seek anyone out and kill them if the lights oh, go out? No, no, probably not. In a we'll, gang we'll, mentality. We'll, de we'll defend, but if someone comes to us, scare comes for him. us, we'll scare the hell out of him. But, but what if- You like squids? <laughs> you like squids, dog. bro? <laughs> what, what if he's like, I'm fucking, I'm going to kill you next game. We killing him before we get there? At what point does it become self-defense? Mm, I like to win fair and square, but- yeah, I don't know. I'll let him throw the first punch. How, how fair, how <laughs> fair it's can the you glass be in bottle. the Squid Game? True. How f yeah, this is this is the I suppose this is the point of the thing. W what would you do? What if like he's already killed someone? If he's already killed one of my mates, then I'm off yeah. him. Man, I don't give a fuck. You'd at least like break his knees. Mm. I'll be off him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll I'll just be off him. Yeah. I won't probably won't do anything. I'll just yeah. be super. I'll be off super. Off. Every he, time he spoke, I'd just be like, oh, "You little <laughs> stop talking, mate. Come on. <laughs> when are you, you going to grow up and stop killing my mates? Yeah, please. yeah. Come, just 
think about things before you do them. Yeah. What do you think before you speak? Words hurt too. <laughs> yeah, but how can you like break his legs or something? They don't have to kill yeah, him. Yeah, kneecap him. Just <laughs> severely, him. severely hinder him in the next game. Yeah. There's a move. That's a yeah. good move. Uh, yeah, I like that. I think that's Give worth it. Give him the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the bends. Give him the bends. <laughs> just, just show <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna give everyone the bends who gets in my way. Yeah, how's all that nitrogen in your blood, <laughs> bro? Can't feel good. Just give me the heaps. We are. We're surviving. I think we're once we get to the end, I think we're surviving. We're splitting well, okay. this fifty mil. What happens? Also, what happens if three people get to the Squid Game at the end? Do they all battle in the game? Yeah, surely. There's no. There's no maximum people for the Squid. I don't think. What's the teams? The final game is one on one, apparently. Yep. But how would they have known that Sung Woo would stab her? They couldn't, I guess. I don't know. The thing that really annoyed me about it, it really is like you. he Sung Woo killed all these dudes, and then in the last one, killed himself. Nice. It just makes everyone else's death seem so pointless. Yeah. You know? But it was his mate. Like you'd struggle more with your mate than you would struggle more with your mate. But he killed. He just killed so many people and then just killed himself. And then it's like, well, you didn't even have to kill those people. Why didn't you just not join the game? <laughs> yeah. How about that. If you Why didn't you kill yourself <laughs> way earlier? Yeah, you could have quit before you yeah, killed. The before chick could have won. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The chick probably would have won. The main dude. I can't remember Did his you name. Pussy? He wouldn't. Have, he wouldn't have killed what the chick. What was the main dude's name? Squid game. Started squid. with a G. <laughs> squid game. Squiddy boy. That's what they call. His name was Squid. I liked him. He was him. lucky to have made it that I far. Honestly. No, do you know what do you want to know what the theory I heard was? Mm. Mm. Because because the um the old dude, like he went in there to see who would help the old guy, and that was the whole thing at the end as well, when he's like uh, We make bet. Can I do this? <laughs> what? I'm gonna say it in an English accent. <laughs> yes, you can. can I? Yeah, because that's what he sounded like. That's what he sounded like in the dub. Yeah. We make bet that if someone help homeless man on t- this doesn't feel right. <laughs> I'll keep, I might as well keep going yeah. now. Um, no, I'm going to say it normally. But d- d- if I can't do it in the <laughs> voice. I like it. We make bet if someone help old man, homeless man on street before midnight, you win. If no one help him, I win. So that was like the whole, so, the game. Sorry, listeners, about Jake's offensive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Fucking thanks a lot. You're on the naughty list. <laughs> um, no. But yeah, so basically it was like, who was going to help the old man in the game? And when he handed over his number one jumper, that's oh, who they, the that's game like would- tag tagged to win. Tag oh. to win. Mm. That's a good theory. Yeah, I don't because that. Um, in so I would also, you have helped the old guy? No, no. <laughs> so no. talk about dead weight. <laughs> I'll make it on my own. I don't need freebies. Yeah, <laughs> Squid Game. Oh. So, well, another one. Would you rather be in Squid Game or Hunger Games? Do you want me to play the sound? Yes. Oh, true. <laughs> Not that one. What would you do? Squid Games or Hunger Games? What would you want to be in? What do you think you? Got better chances in squid, definitely. Squid? Hunger Games, they're all like trained to kill trained essentially. To kill. True, it's actually a squid game, it's just hunting. broke people. <laughs> yeah, mm. they were like poor as well. Yeah, like they're all broke gonna be like poor people. They're not going to be there. Was that there was one big dude, and I don't even reckon he was that big. Nah, he was, but yeah, Hunger, hunger Games, you're fucked. Yeah, true, like you have to, you have true. to train for the Hunger Games. True, but in saying that, I also think I would win the Hunger Games, <laughs> 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 like because. I almost think there's more of a chance of winning the Hunger Games Hell. than winning the Squid Game. Because in Squid Game, there's luck games as yeah. well. Like the marbles. You could luck. Well, you it's gambling. You need luck in the Hunger Games. You need luck, but there's, it doesn't decide your life or death, luck. Yeah, but Where, Thresh does. <laughs> yeah, You could hide for all of Hunger Games too and just like survive. That's half of Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah. But you have to learn how to do that as well. Yeah, but we, easy. If they, if they, if they, if they gave you the card easy. tomorrow, you wouldn't be able to do oh, so it. If it's on the cards though, you're, do, you're learning a skill from birth just in case. I saw this meme today and it's like, um, I laugh every time <laughs> when Peter's like, oh, I used to bake cupcakes and then he's yeah, like in he's full like body full makeup. Yeah. Looks exactly like a rock. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was so oh, dumb. A couple of cupcakes, eh? Is that <laughs> easy? It's that easy? A couple of couplers. Doesn't take much. <laughs> Bit of practice. Oh, they say 10,000 hours. <laughs> yeah, to be an expert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I'm not surviving the Hunger Games. I'm cashing that check in now. <laughs> no, don't know. I just have this little thing inside me that's pretty sure no one could ever kill me. <laughs> Let's give it a spin. I, I just feel like if I'm really about to be murdered, 
they'll find a way. <laughs> I like that. I like I'll that. I'll figure something I'm out. I'm kind of the same too. And I think I would just I, I would just become unhinged. And I, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's true or not because p- people get murdered every day. But I have a, world, I have a, it's a, it's a dog ate dog world. And, but I have a sneaking suspicion inside myself that if I was ever in a lot of trouble and was about to get murdered by anybody. You'd be there. You've got the instinct. I would, you'd get that like mum strength where they like lift cars off their children. I think I would just become unhinged and like tear a limb off his body or something. I like it. Let's organize the heap games. <laughs> yeah. The heap games. Who can heave us the most? Who can heave us the most? What games what, what games could we do? And the in, winner in has to version. fight Jake to the death. <laughs> <laughs> mm. but, Good luck. But before Bare you enter. Brawl Jake until he goes ape shit. He is 100% confident in his <laughs> ability, to, ability to become unhinged if the occasion if is the correct. Occasion came. And in saying that, I'm not going to be unhinged for the entirety of the fight. If it's a bare knuckle brawl to the death. It, it's going to take me within an inch of my life before I become unhinged. But when I do... <laughs> Best beware. It's say gonna, it's gonna be prayers. like. You remember when when Hulk slammed Loki around his head in Avengers? Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's it's gonna be you. like. <laughs> so, <laughs> heed this message. If Best you ever join known. the Hebe game, <laughs> and you actually and you get to the final somehow, level, <laughs> somehow you you defy the odds and have to fight me at the end, <laughs> it's not gonna go well for you. I don't care who you are. It's not going to go well. <laughs> straight down the barrel right there. <laughs> All right. You should, know we, should, we, should we wrap it up there or should we hit the last one? How, how much longer we got? Wrap it up there. Yeah, I can wrap we're, it up we're, there. We're going for an hour and a half. <laughs> wrap it up there on those that threat. Yeah, that threat. <laughs> it's a perfect way to end anything with a threat. And a terrifying <laughs> note. Yeah. <laughs> that being said, tune in to the next episode. Or you know, you know exactly... He'll come after you. <laughs> yeah, at the end of your bed, at, at, in the dead of night. I'm Jake and his fucking uncanny child. Uncan- <laughs> me and my uncanny child are going to be s- s- perched up on your bedside table like a gargoyle. <laughs> and you're not going so to know what you. So close to unhinged. It's not funny. Yeah, not I will be close. I'm yet. not there. I'm teetering. <laughs> but I'm teetering. teetering on the edge of being unhinged. Just to be, so you, you need to be nearly dead before the un- unhinging happens? I need to be in serious trouble first. <laughs> right, okay. Right. Tune in while we try to make Jake go on here <laughs> yeah. for the next couple of episodes. Time to start pushing some buttons. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take a bit, but you'll get me there and you'll regret it. I used your toothbrush last week. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and that's what you can expect. Do you want that? I doubt it. All right. So thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for, listening. Good thanks for watching. If you're watching on these yeah. beautiful cameras, our good friend Cam Utiger from U Tiger Productions. Is that how it's pronounced? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah. A bit Let's of a, a bit of a play on words, if you will. U Tiger Productions. Give that a like on Facebook. Follow the film Cooked on Instagram. Go grab some merch. It like is it. very good quality. It is very nice. It's got some nice designs on there. Beautiful colours. So good. I'm There's a little stoked. bit of cooked merch and the same amount of luck. You two can look like me. <laughs> Ka ciao. Exactly. So thanks for listening, everyone. A big thanks for Cam for filming this one Let's as well. Go. The Heapcast are brought to you on video by Cook the Film. Let's for the go. First time. Thanks very much for listening, guys, and we will talk See to you next, next time. time. Have a heap of summer. A bit of a pen on paper smut. There's two people that wait to lock the gate. That's it, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Head cast.